me. Uh, we're looking for... What's it called again? You dozy moo. Albert Square. Of course it is. Sorry. Um, Albert Square? Oh, right, yeah. 100 yards up under the bridge. You can't miss it. Oh, thanks very much. Bit in shop? Chippy? I think you'll be well taken care of, guys. It's not me coming to live here, is it? Stop winding her up. Yeah, but I ain't, am I? Is it in the club? No, nah, that's snooker on. Beachy. Are we nearly there yet? It's about another five or six miles, Mo. Oh, we need to go in now. Well, get your head down, girl. Get yourself a bit of kip, yeah? It's a busy market, I don't think. Here, Mo, there's a long direct. What? There's a long direct. You're going to be in your element. No, I still can't hear ya. And a boozer. Full house. Maybe you will marry you after all, then, Lynn. Oh, wonder the market ain't working. Look, the curtains are all closed. Those bunch of beggars are still in bed. Well, you'll be at home, won't you, Gary? <laughs> Right, what number was it? 23. What's that to cab? Where have they got to? I want a cock up to begin here. So, what do we think? Well, it's not exactly Amsterdam, is it? How are we all going to fit in that? Oh, just have to be free in a bed, won't it? Oi! What's going on? Just stopped off for a cup of tea, Mo. We'll be back in 20 minutes. What? Where are they? Marvellous. We can't hang about, you know. I've got to get the van back for 12. There's another load yet. Where are we? Welcome to Slater Mansions, Mo. Oh. Oh, it's lovely. <sighs> oh, where are Dad and Nan? This is just getting silly. Yeah, we know it. You're old man's life, didn't you? Probably told some geezer down the housing department about the 64 Cup final. Hi. Hi. Hi, I'm Robbie. I'm uh, your next door neighbour. Never a guest. Cheap. But still more than you can afford. Excuse me. Is this stuff going to be left lying here all day? I'm oh, sorry. Um, we're locked out. We're just waiting for the keys. Oh, it's all right, we're sorted. He can't leave that there. You know, I think we've got one of those neighbours they do teleprograms about. Where you been? I've only lost all our flaming forms. What? Hey. Oi, be careful with that girl. Carrying the crown jewels in. <laughs> Who's going to be the first over the threshold? Well, surely it's got to be your nan, eh? Yeah. Mo! Not changed in 30 years. Still the same old dump. <laughs> but not for long, eh? Give us those keys. Three cheers for Her Majesty, who's about to take up formal residence in her new palace. Yeah! Yeah! I formally declare the new Slater. <laughs> <laughs> They've only given us the wrong pig in key. Oh. Well, it's got 23 Albert Square on the key ring. Are you calling me a liar? No. It won't turn. Leave it to the expert. Well, let the dog see the rabbit then. Well, the Dutch is down on the inside. How's that happened? I've been more than patient. You're going to have to move your cab. What's the problem? It's blocking the road. Right, just give me a couple of minutes while I sort it out. All right, mate? Mo, go round the back and let us in. Get the keys off of Gary. What? Don't fuss. Just do it. Oh, I want it shifted now. Yeah, all right. I'll and just... who are you? I live up there. Well, I wouldn't get off on the wrong foot with me, Sonny, if I was you. No, I'm dead. Sorry, mate, I didn't realise. And I want this van and all this stuff moved as well, because they're going to be coming round this way in a minute. Like you said, let's not get off on the wrong foot. Nan, I've tried and I've tried. The lock turns, but the door must be bolted from the inside. So we're we'll breaking and send the council the bill. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Some people do choose their moments. What a load of old tats. Do you know him, Frank? No. You all right, Pat? Yeah. Who was that woman, then? Her name's Pat. She's been through so many husbands, I couldn't even tell you what her second name was these days. What, and is there a problem? 
for her there is, yeah. Let's get this door open. Someone find me a crowbar. Oh. Here, yeah, M, M. Hi, then. Right. Right. I've got all the beds. All we've got to do is decide who's going where. Uh -huh. Front bedroom, please. Not so fast, young lady. I've worked all this out. Lynn's in the front with Kat. Oh, what, Dad? I'm next to the bathroom. Charlie's downstairs in the back room here so he don't disturb us when he's on lates. And so he's in the back with little Mo. Not again. I'm nearly 17. <laughs> no arguments. She's got her own flat. Why can't she stay in it? She will when Trevor's around, but at the moment he's not. So? What's wrong with your own place? Look, you know little Mo gets nervous when she's on her own. A little bit of understanding, please, love. Hmm? Right, who's for the pub, then? Now you're talking. We've got work to do. Yeah, we've still got a week, though, haven't we? I know for a fact they've got a free load of signies over there, and all. Who's up for it? <laughs> that must be Maureen Harris. Blimey, I mean, she's knocking on a bit, aren't she? <laughs> Oi, Maureen. Calling, what the hell am I going to do? I can't just ignore her. It's up to you. I don't understand. Who is she? Maureen Harris. She used to be married to Pat's brother. Oh, that Maureen. Yes, that Maureen. Eddie Skinner. Correct. And this must be your son-in-law. For my sins, Charlie. This is Eddie Skinner, Ethel's nephew. Ah, uh, pleased to meet you. Likewise. You knew Ethel at one time, didn't you? The filthiest sense of humour in any woman I met. <laughs> yeah, she'd be very sadly missed. Man too, for that matter. Look at her. Back here five minutes is like she already owned the place. Just ignore her. How can I when she's living 25 yards from my front door? Where are you going? To get it over with. Hello, Mo. Well, I do declare. Long time. Indeed. How are you? Not so bad, all things considered. I've picked up one and two bits of bobs about you. How many husbands is it now? Look, I come over here to try and bury the hatchet. The one you planted in my back? The only trouble is it's still there, and it still hurts. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Just give me a last gin tea, will you please, Frank? Yeah. <laughs> 